which we discovered that we needed to have a common denominator before we could do that. However, multiplying and dividing, which is what we're doing today, you do not need a common denominator. Okay, you can multiply and divide straight away without having to do that. Okay, it's actually, I think it's actually easier than adding and subtracting. Now, there is a couple of different strategies that you can use here. Last year, when you did these, you were always asked to cancel first. So we'll go with that strategy first, okay? So cancelling is if you can see anything on the top of any fraction that matches with anything on the bottom of any fraction, you can cancel them out. So for example, I have an X on the top of this fraction and an X on the bottom of that one. That means I can cancel them out. Now, often the cancelling is diagonal like that. Sometimes it's just top and bottom, right on top of each other. Okay, anywhere on the top can cancel with anywhere on the bottom when you're multiplying. Okay, now it's easy to cancel letters. You can also cancel numbers though, or you should be looking to cancel numbers. So you look at the numbers and you go, are there any numbers that are the same? Okay, there's not. Or is there something that I could divide? on the top and the bottom. So could I divide something on the top by two and something on the bottom by two, for example? And unfortunately for this one, no, I can't do that either. So that is all the cancelling out that I can do. Once everything has been cancelled, you multiply what is left. And to do that, you multiply the tops together. So five times three is what's left on the top. That makes 15. And you multiply the bottom together. 7 times 4 is 28. And there's actually no algebra left in there because my x is cancelled out. That's it. Now, if you're ever unsure whether you have cancelled enough, all you need to do is get your calculator and type the fraction in to see if you've missed anything. So you go 15 over 28 and you press equals. Okay, I've got the same thing. So that means I cancelled everything and I had the right answer. Okay, let's practice again. Example two, looking for cancelling. So this time I have one X there, but I don't have any matching ones to cancel off. So that's going to stay there. But now the numbers. See how I have a three up here and a six on the bottom. They're not the same, but both of those numbers could be divided by three. If I divide by three, if I divide three by three, I get a one. And if I divide 6 by 3, I get a 2. Okay? Sometimes you might even be able to cancel some more than that, but that's the only one that I can cancel for this one. Once you've done cancelling, multiply what is left. Guys, can we stop the whispering? Thank you. Multiply the tops together. Now, on the top, I still have that x. 1 times 1 is 1, and the x... I don't need to write the 1 if it's with an x, remember that. If you write 1x, it's still right, but x is the most simplified way to write that. On the bottom, 7 times 2 is 14, and we're done. Well, there's no number left on the top, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to have to simplify that anymore because 1's as low as it gets, okay? All right, question 3 and 4. The only difference with these ones is that you can see a divide sign there. Now, divide is almost, almost the same as timesing. To help you remember what to do, I have a little saying for you. You might want to write this down. So for divide signs, these questions here, you're going to leave, kiss, and flip. Okay? That's what, that's what you do when you see a divide sign. Leave means you leave the first fraction. So the first fraction for this one was 4m over 7. Kiss, an x looks like a kiss or a time sign looks like a kiss. It means that you're turning that divide sign into a times. You're kissing it and it magically turns into a times, okay? And flip means that you turn the second fraction upside down and it becomes a 3p on the top and a 2m on the bottom. Do you remember doing that last year? Yeah. Yep. Yes, okay. Now it's just multiplying, which is what we did in questions one and two. So we're looking to cancel 
anywhere top with anywhere bottom. But just always make sure you turn it into a times first. Don't try to cancel anything when there's a divide sign there. All right? So looking for things I can cancel. M on the top, M on the bottom. Gone. There's only one P there, so it's going to stay. What about the numbers? Anyone can see any numbers I can cancel? Ethan? Four and two. The four and the two. Perfect. They can be divided by two. Divide that by two, I get a two. And two divided by two gives me a one. Make sure your crossing out is neat, okay? Otherwise, you can get really confused when you try to multiply what's left, okay? Once we've done our cancelling, let's check, or well, it's times what's left. On the top, two times three, they're the numbers on the top, make a six. I also have a P. On the bottom, there's a seven and there's a one, so seven times one is just seven. Is that going to simplify anymore? Do we need to check that one? You can check it if you like, but seven is a prime number. If you have a number that's a prime number, it's not going to simplify any further, okay? You can't divide that any further. Example four. Um, okay, it's a divide. So we're going to leave, kiss, flip. Leave the first one. Kiss means turn to a times and flip the second fraction. What's that mean about leave the first one? The first fraction is left exactly as it is. You leave it alone, you leave the first fraction. Kiss, divide into a times and flip the last fraction. Looking to cancel. X on the top, X on the bottom. Easy peasy. What about the numbers? Yes, Sai? Is the X on the are they just one of each of them? There's one of each of them, yes. Yeah. So there's one X and there's one Y, yes. But how would you like Because that X is cancelled off, it just means there's going to be one Y left. Oh, the Y will still be there. Cash. Um, you can simplify the 9 and 6. One yes. And one yes, the 9 and the 6. Those two numbers there. So 9 and 6 divide by 3. Two and three. Yep. Divide that by 3, we get 2, and 9 divided by 3, we get a 3. Does that mean it's 6, Y, and 9? Ah, well, what, on the top, we don't have a 6 on the top anymore. On the top, the number that we have left is a 2. 2Y. Two so 2Y on the top, and on the bottom, all that's left is the 3. Uh, do you want me to show you that other method now? What is the other method? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the can no, it makes it I think it, it is easier in some ways, okay? If the trouble if the trouble you have with these questions is the cancelling, I think that's often the problem that people have, going, What on earth can I cancel out? And they sit there and look at them for ages and um, yeah, struggle with it. So let's start again. I'll write it in blue. This last question that I did, the XY over nine times the 6 over x, okay? If you're ever not sure what you can cancel, you can just leave everything there and multiply everything together as it is. So you could go on the top, 6 times the xy, so that's 6xy, and on the bottom, I've got the 9 times the x, which is the 9x. Oh. Now, once you've pushed everything together, you can use your calculator to simplify the numbers for you. You don't have to worry about, oh, what can I divide by? Just get your calculator out and go, oh, I've got a 6 on the top. It's a fraction button. Ignore the letters for a second. I've got a 6 on the top and I've got a 9 on the bottom. And all you do is press equals and I get a 2 over a 3. Okay, so I don't even have to simplify anything, like find the number I'm dividing by but I know that it's gonna be a two on the top and a three on the bottom. What did you press? No, you, don't, don't have, you didn't try to put an X or something in there, did you? So you have to have a fraction, you put a six on the top and a nine on the bottom, press equals. Okay? The other one's easier. Oh, well, that's good. You do still need to look at the letters. Unfortunately, you can't do the letter part on your calculator, but an X on the top, and an X on the bottom, we cancel them off just like we did before. And so that leaves us just the Y at the end. Okay?
So I would like you to try to cancel things off from the beginning because I do hope that that would be easier. But if you miss cancelling stuff off, just time them together and use your calculator to simplify it at the end. Does that make sense? Great. So let's keep going. Number five. It's a divide. So we leave kiss flip. Leave the first one. Leave it exactly the same. Kiss and flip means turn the second fraction upside down. Then we look for cancelling. We'll try the cancelling method again. Can anyone see something to cancel? Yes. Excellent. The 5 and the 10. I can divide by 5, which will give me 1, and 10 divided by 5 gives me 2. Cash. That's a B, sorry. It's a B. Yeah. But otherwise it would have worked. There's nothing else there I can cancel. Let's multiply what's left. On the top, 3A times a 1 is just going to be 3A. And on the bottom, I have a 2 and a B, so 2B. We're done. Now, three fractions, it all still works the same way. You can cancel anywhere on the top with anywhere on the bottom. So, X on the top and X on the bottom. Gone. And this is where you have to be really neat, though. Okay, the more fractions there are and the more things you're crossing out, sometimes it's easy to, like, to look at your thing and go, oh, my goodness, what is left? You need to be really clear. When you, try, when you try to write this down. Cash. 6 and the 12 and the 11. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yep, yep. All right, good. So the 6 and the 12, I can divide by 6 and get a 1 and a 2. And the 11 and the 22, as Cash said as well, I can divide by 11. So dividing by 11, I get a 1 and a 2. Okay, I've done all my cancelling in red. So now let's multiply what is left all the way across the top. The only thing that's left up there is 1 times 1, which is 1. On the bottom, the only things left is 2 times 2. Everything else is cancelled out. Four. 2 times 2 is 4. So all that yucky stuff just cancelled down to a quarter. How nice. All right, last one. Even though there is a multiplication sign there, before we do anything, we need to change that divide. So our leave kiss flip is means we have to leave, we'll leave these first, both of these first ones out the front because they've got nothing to do with the divide. So we'll leave them. We've got 3x over 8 times 2y over 15. We're leaving those. It's the, the divide sign that we have to kiss times. Oh, so they're both times is now. Yep, both times is. And the last one we have to flip to be 4 on the top, y on the bottom. Okay? Make sure they're all timeses. Now let's look to cancel things. Any suggestions? The y's. The y's. Good. Yes. Top, bottom. Done. Anything else? Yes. 4 and 8. Excellent. I can divide by 4, which gives me a 1 and a 2. If you've only gone, if you only divided that by 2, it might have meant you had some more things to cancel later. Ethan? 3 and 15. 3 and 15, good, will give me, if I'm dividing by 3, I get a 1 and a 5. I think I've got them all now, right? Yeah, okay. So nice, neat cancelling. We need to read what is left. On the top, I have a 1 times a 2, because I haven't done anything with that 2 yet. 1 times 2 times a 1 again. Yeah, which is 2. But yes, I do also have an x, so 2x. On the bottom, I have got a 2 times a 5, which is 10. ten. Uh-oh, we must have missed some simplifying. Look at that. Because, look, 2 over 10. There actually was, check it, we missed one here. And that's okay. There's a 2 here and there's a 2 there we could have cancelled. But that's okay. It happens. All that means is when we get our final answer here... We go, all right, I can still simplify that. I've got the 2 over the 10. You could either do it on your calculator to check, or it should have gone down to 1 fifth. Or you could have done the cancelling on top of it like we were doing before. So knowing that that's going to cancel down to a 1 fifth, so 1x on the top and a 5 on the bottom. Okay? And that's all right if you have to do some cancelling later. All right, so we're practising multiplication and division on these next quite a few pages. 
So page 30. Yeah, excellent. No, you can do four. 